Hi folks, uh, this is the main prepper, and today I'm going to do a gear review on the UTG um, Multifunctional Tactical Messenger Bag. This one, dark earth in color, it also comes in uh, black, ACU, and a couple of other, I think OD, green. This is a great uh, piece of equipment, I think, because it's not only a messenger bag, it also has an internal compartment for concealed carry of a sidearm, which I will get to in, in just a moment. First of all, the overalls. My overall impression of the bag is it's good, it's durable, and it's comfortable to carry. And that's an important feature because, especially when you're talking about a bug out bag or an EDC type bag, uh, if, if it's painful to carry, you're, you're definitely going to be paying for uh, the money you saved later on um, today. Alright, so let's move in first of all to the construction. It's a heavy duty uh, nylon, it's thick. It's not airsoft quality uh, flimsy thin stuff, uh, thin stuff that we normally see. The uh, outer compartment, or the main compartment, has a, uh, a pouch type flap with a uh, plastic uh, heavy duty keeper. It's uh, fairly strong if you can see that. Uh, it's, it's not a flimsy one, I think it will hold up. It's got a nice solid uh, engagement on it. This uh, can also be extended up or it can be tightened down. This reminds me a lot of just a uh, long latigo on a saddle. You just pull this thing down and you can snug your gear down so it's not jumping all over the place on you. On the outside we've got Velcro here and here, uh, which you know you may want to display to the world. Your, uh, your I'm, I'm very proud of being a space shuttle door gunner. But, uh, uh, it was, uh, I just needed a job actually. I wasn't trying to be high speed. Okay, uh, outside flap. There's a zipper and a compartment here, which is great to put uh, uh, small pieces of paper, notebook, or whatever, but it's uh, fairly durable. Now this uh, nylon inside of here is uh, fairly thick. It's not, it's not the thin, 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 uh, flimsy stuff. So they, they didn't cut corners. Sometimes when you buy this type of equipment, they are going to cut a lot of corners wherever they can. In this case, they didn't. Many places you will see double stitching, as you can see where my fingers are going. But in other places, and here you'll see double stitching around the edges of the back, but in some other places, uh, there will be single stitching. Uh, and that's uh, a bit unusual, but it, I don't think it's a problem. All right, on the front of the uh, bag, there is a water bottle pouch. And this is adjustable, and there's a drawstring at the top so you can snug this down. And it doesn't have to be for a water bottle. You can put anything you want in there. Um, easy to get in, easy to get out. Nice balance to it. On the bottom of the bag, where the water bottle is, if your water bottle does bust open, uh, the water will drain out this little hole. And there's some loop uh, keepers here on the bottom that you can use to hang things on, but I really wouldn't do that. Backside of the pouch, there is a compartment here that's a, a good six inches long and a good three, four inches wide. It's got some molly keepers here. Two zippers. Most of the pouches, except for the top one, have two zippers on them. And these are good uh, heavy-duty zippers. Inside, we can see that there's room enough to put, uh, in this case I've got my uh, multi-purpose tool in here, and there's a little internal pouch, uh, pocket carrier, perfect place. It uh, absolutely perfectly holds a nice little uh, tactical folder knife, or whatever you choose. And uh, this part of the bag is, uh, um, single stitched right here. I don't know if you can see that. That's single stitching. I don't think that's really a problem. I'm just pointing it out. Um, most everything else is double stitching. Right behind this pouch and between it and the main compartment there is an internal uh, pocket. A place where you can keep handy little things. Uh, in this one I've got notebook, uh, pen paper, you know, my inspectable items. And uh, I got a cigarette lighter down at the bottom there, even though I don't smoke. Um, all right, top pouch. This is the only one that has a single zipper on it. And the zippers are fairly good uh, quality. I would recommend that you put some soap on all of your zippers whenever you get anything, whether it's clothes, jacket, or whatever. Keeps the um, 
zippers from binding up and tearing up your equipment. All right, let's have a look on the internal compartment. Opening up with the uh, keeper on the outside. This compartment is fairly uh, voluminous, and on the outside, it's got a um, a nylon stuff sack type uh, top to it to hold your gear down inside. And I've got a couple of uh, my outer boxes that I put inside just to show how roomy this compartment is. Let me go ahead and take this off. And this, of course, folds down neatly inside if you don't want to use that top pouch. The stitching is good, and on the inside of this compartment, there is a second, uh, there's a little mesh sleeve, so you have a place to, to hold something, or uh, flat pieces of paper, notebooks, anything like that, and even a uh, Garmin, uh, something flat, a uh, piece of electronics. All right. Looking in the compartment just to the outside, we also see a similar construction, although smaller. We have, again, a nylon mesh here, and it's a nice little pocket. This is my uh, solar battery charger, and uh, I've got my Garmin Nubia. And I'm going to be doing a, this is the one that has the 3D maps on it. I'm going to be doing a review on this uh, a little bit later on. There's a few features I'm still trying to figure out. It's new to me. But uh, overall, I'm very well pleased with it. And this uh, part, compartment, again, has dual zippers, so it's fairly roomy. And then this outer pouch here, nice place to toss your cell phone or whatever else. Now, to the uh, real meat and potatoes. This is the part of this bag that I really like. This is the part of the bag where you can carry your concealed weapon. And it'll actually be truly concealed because the bag will go against your body. So the outline of the uh, weapon will be disguised behind this bag. No one will really be able to see it. It's very easy to get to. Uh, very quick, single pull on the zipper with your um, right hand and you're inside the bag. Okay? Or you could pull it with your left hand. Depends on how good you are. Uh, I'm going to put a piece of parachute cord in a loop here so I can catch my hand in and I can one pull and reach inside and grab. Now there's an interesting feature to this compartment. First of all, it's very large. Let me show you. I'm sticking my hand inside of here. Um, I've got big hands and you can see they go all the way in past the wrist and I, got, I can put probably both hands in there. I would dare say you could put one of the largest uh, frame revolvers out there on the market, although you'd have to go with maybe a four inch barrel. In here, definitely any uh, 45 automatic uh, nine millimeter would easily fit in this. Another nice feature, and I'm going to turn this light on so we can see inside of here, is, hope I'm not over brightening it, if you can see those two Velcro strips. But what that does is if you have a uh, holster with uh, Velcro on it, um, it a hook and pop fastener, it will attach into here so that your holster will have additional traction. Or you can just toss your weapon straight in there. It just depends on your personal uh, preference in this regard. On the inside of the bag, this is the part that uh, uh, I look at these things a lot. Because whenever you're going to carry something a long time, you don't want it just rubbing up against your body. It's going to cause friction. It's also going to wear the bag out. So this one has some nice padding. And this is, uh, again, a similar mesh, like you find the uh, internal pockets, over uh, some padding that's about a good uh, 3 eighths to perhaps uh, uh, maybe half inch thick. It's fairly, it's fairly substantial. And it's double stitched in around the edges which means these pads are not going to wear loose. And these are at points where the bag could be coming in contact with your body. The other thing I don't like is this. Now this is here to hold uh, if you were going to uh, essentially carry this bag not in a uh, shoulder bag mode. This is to hold this strap in here and you can essentially fold it all up. There is uh, padding uh, at three places where the bag goes against your body and uh, it seems to be ergonomically constructed. One, two, three, and most importantly, in the part 
where you're going to be putting most of the weight of this bag, which is going to be the shoulder strap. And again, another, another case of why did we go with single stitching? This is single stitched, while the other, uh, this is double stitched here, where you can see my hand. All right, the, these, these compartments that go against your body are double stitched, but this is single stitched. I've got a commercial uh, sewing machine up in Maine. I'll probably be breaking it out and, and throwing an extra stitch on here around the edges. But otherwise, uh, this is a good bag. For $32.98, uh, I think, is what I paid for it, and that included shipping. Uh, I, I recommend this bag for a nice little EDC um, bug out type uh, level one. This will hold a good amount of equipment and a good amount of gear, and um, I think it's well worth the money. Not perfect but definitely a good buy for the money. Hey, this has been the main prepper here. Uh, I'm going to do some more reviews of some equipment that I've picked up uh, recently, and uh, thank you for tuning in.